So we want to continue with our solution from number 11. In the Venn diagram above, the shaded area represents. So this is our Venn diagram. This is our universal set, and we have the set P. The complement of P is P prime, which is the region that is shaded over here. This is P prime. So this shaded region is equal to the region that is shaded over here. So you can see that P prime, P prime is the shaded region. Therefore, the correct answer is this. Now let's see why these are not the correct answers so p union q prime p union q is all this region and the p union q prime is the shaded region so this is not equal to this region this is not equal to this then also q intersection p prime so this is Q, the region Q and P prime is all this region so the intersection is this place P intersection Q intersection P prime is this region then Q union P prime so this is Q then union P prime union P prime P prime is all this region so it will be this one added to all this region that will give us this so p union q prime is all this region p q union p prime now so the correct answer is this first one Now let's continue with the next question. In a class of 32 students, 17 students, 17 study music and 20 study art, what is the least number of students who are studying both music and art? So this is a Venn diagram. Now we are told that 17 study music so that means if you take if x represent both those studying both music and art then those who are studying only music is 17 minus x similarly we have that 20 study art so those who are studying only art will be 20 minus x now if you put all together we should get 32 so 17 minus x plus x plus 20 minus x will be equal to 32. So we solve this equation for x. This and this gives us 37 minus x. We group. We now subtract 37 from both sides. Then we simplify to get negative x equal negative 5. Dividing through by negative 1. Or multiplying through by negative 1 we get x to be equal to 5 so the least number of students who are studying both sub both music and art is 5 if P if P is having is P if P is a set with the element a B C then the number of subsets of P is so we know that number of subset of a set is given by two exponent n, where n is the number of elements in the set. Now the given set is set P. We have one, two, three elements. Therefore, our n is equal to three. Hence, the number of subsets is equal to two exponent three, 
which means 2 times 2 times 2 and that will give us 8 so the correct answer is A we have that P is equal to factors of 6 Q is equal to factors of 4 then the shaded region represents so we know that the shaded region is P intersection Q P intersection Q so first let us list the factors of P factors of 6 which is 1 2 3 6 and let us also list the factors of 4 which is 1 2 4 now the element that are in both sets is P intersection Q which is 1 2 Therefore, the correct answer is B. Now we have this of number 15. If, if we have T, T, Dallas, 6 T, T, Dallas is equivalent to 1 US Dallas, then 15 TT dollars will be equal to how many US dollars? So this is how we go about it. This is what is given to us. This is the conversion rate. Then we first of all need to get how much is equivalent to how much US dollars is equivalent to 1 TT dollars. So we use the unitary method. We divide both sides by 6 to get. 1 TT dollars is equal to 1 over 6 US dollars. So to get a 15 dollars, we multiply through by 15. So multiplying both sides by 15, we get this equation. Now note that 3 will go here to 3 will go here 5. So we multiply by this, we get 15. Therefore, 15 TT dollars will be equal to 5 over 2 which is 2.5 US dollars. Now, we have this. We want to find 3 whole number 1 over 4% of 500. So, this is straightforward. 3 whole number 1 over 4% of 500. So, this becomes... The product so we will change this to a fraction 3 whole number 1 over 4 over 100 times 500 now we cancel 500 goes into 500 five times then we are left with 3 whole number 1 over 4 over 1 which is the same as 3 whole number 1 over 4 times 5 so we change this to an improper fraction by multiplying 3 by 4, 12 plus 1, which is 13 over 4 times 5. Now, 5 times 13 is 65 over 4. And the same as 16 whole number, 1 over 4. Because 4 goes into 65, 16 times, which is 64. Then left with 1 over 4. And we convert this to decimal. You know, 1 over 4 is the same as 0 0.25. So that will give us sixteen point two five dollars. Now we have this we have this um if P switch cost Q cents then the cost of one suite is so to get to solve this we let's take an example let's say we have five suites and it costs 20 cents to get the cost of one suite we divide 20 cents by five and that will give us four cents therefore if p suites cost q cents then one sweet cost Q over P cent. So the correct answer is the first one. A salesman is paid 
5% of his sales as commission. His sales for last month were 2020 dollars. How much commission was he paid? So this is also straightforward. So the sales was $2,020. So to find a commission, we multiply by 5%. So 5% of 2020, uh, you know, 5% is the same as 5 over 100 times $2,020. That is $2,020. Now let's cancel this and this. We are left with 5 over 10 times 202. We can easily multiply 5 by 202 to get 1010. That is 1010. Now, we can easily divide by 10 to get 101 dollars. So, the commission of the salesman is 101 dollars. How much does a customer pay for an article marked at $50 if a sales tax of 6% is charged? So we know the amount paid by the customer is the marked price plus the tax. Now, so the marked price is 50 and the tax is 6% of the marked price. So we need to simplify this. Let's convert this to 6 over 100, then times, five, times 50 dollars. Let's multiply 6 by 50 to get 300 over 100. We can easily cancel 300 over 100 to get 3 dollars. So adding 50 and 3 dollars, we get 53 dollars. So the correct answer is B. Now we have this. A table is sold on high pitches. The sale price consists of a deposit of $306 and six monthly installments of $60 each. It means every month the person pays $60 each for six months. How much does a customer pay for the table? So the base pay is $306. So we have to add it to 6 monthly installment of 60 per month. So 6 times 60, we can easily do that to get 360 dollars. And we add 360 and 60, 360 and 306, we get 666 dollars. Therefore, the correct answer is C. If you want me to produce the next video as soon as possible, which is a continuation, of these questions kindly please subscribe to my second channel the link is in the description below Now, uh, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.